In this video, I'm going to show you how you can map properties from pipe one components to your isometric drawing border attributes. Okay, so out of the box, you can't map these particular properties to your isometric. So if I go to project setup here, and I go to my setup title block, and I go title block attributes, what you'll see is, if I look at line group properties, you don't get all the properties that come from the P3, uh, sorry, from the pipe run component properties. What you get is the P3D line group properties, and that's all you have to pick from to then map to your border attributes. But what we can do is, call, is create something called an LDT table, uh, a line designation table. And then we can map this, uh, the column headers in this to our, it's kind of like a lookup table basically. We can map the column headers to specific attributes in, in the um, ISO border. Okay, so how do we do that? All right, so let's come back and save the changes, it doesn't really matter, let's exit right the way back. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually create the table. Alright, so to do that I go to my data manager, I actually look at the whole project, the whole 3D project data, and then I find pipe run component and I extract that complete uh, that complete section there. So I click on export, uh, active node only, and then I will browse to my project itself. It's in my practice files here. We're in this specific one here. There we go. And I, typically, I'll put them in my isometric folder, my LDT table. You can see, you will see. And then I'll actually put them in the style that I'm using. So I'm using Final A2 isometric style. And you can see I've already got one in there. So I'm just going to overwrite that existing one there and click Save and Replace. Yeah. Click OK. Export and Replace. So in the background, and I'm straight away there, that's helpful, in the background I now have a table. Yep, that's fine. So what we can see here is we have things like long description, we have size, we have end type, so all these different properties that we can now use and uh, populate our at, uh, attributes in our ISO template. So it's basically a lookup table. We nominate which column is the line number, and then from that it knows which um, which cell to pick and place into our attributes. All right. So all we have to do is find the line number column and map that. All right. Okay. So let's close this down. There it is, there's the line number one there. All right, so let's close this down and do that. Okay, so we can close this away. Yeah, and then we're going to go back to our project setup. So right click on the project, project setup. We're straight away, isometric drawing settings, title block and display, setup title block. Okay, uh, title block attributes. So then I need to set up the LDT table, so click on this tab here. Click on that button there. I'm in the, the right place, as you can see. Reference that table, click open. Give it a few seconds to have a think about it. There we go. So we only have the one worksheet, so it's picked up that already. 
and then I just need to find the line number quite a lot of columns somewhere in here there it is line number so if I click on view LDT you can actually view the LDT here as well from within the software which is quite nice so I'll click close and I'll go to add attributes and then I'll look at my LDT table and we should get a list of all those columns as well all right so maybe we might want uh, let's pick something that's sensible here um, what can we pick in here let's go for maybe long description then we can place that as a new attribute so I'm just going to pop them down over here somewhere we'll do both the long descriptions why not pop that one there maybe service as well place that one there although service you can pick up from your P3 line group so there's no point in doing that one um, I'll tell you what we'll put manufacturer down <clears throat> okay and close all right so then let's close the editor save the title block and just make sure you do an at sync on this attribute sync to make sure that you update the attributes or sync the attributes within that title block sometimes it requires that you'll know if you work with blocks and attributes about the at sync you'll need to do that every time you're making change to attributes okay so I'll just click OK on here and then pick a line pick something nice and simple so it's quick and you know in here I will go and find description should be populated actually automatically so I'm just going to populate my manufacturer as well If I can find it, there it is. So I just cut for man, oops, man and machine. There we go. All right. So save, and then so we are looking at line number one five five five. So yeah, and I can go on ISO production ISO. 1555 create. Let it think about that for a second. Here we go, so that's creating now in the background. If you look down in this corner here, you can see this little button or icon telling us that it's been created in the background. And eventually, you'll get your isometric creation complete bubble click on the link there click on the link here and there we have it okay right <laughs> so this is a good point actually so you can see that my description is populated but my uh, manufacturer hasn't that's because I made the change after creating the LDT table so this is the thing if you ever have something missing from your uh, attributes then you may need to re-export the table all right so just quickly to show you that we'll do that so back home uh, data manager pipe run component it's good to show you these things twice anyway export browse make sure we get our isometric drawings here um, bum, 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 bum. isometrics so re-export that updates the table so typically you'll be making ISOs at the end of the project creation so most of those should be uh, populated you just need to rerun the LDT table export again once that's done 
we'll make another ISO. We can do overwrite in existing. Don't want to create thousands of ISOs here. So ISO is creating in the background. ISO is complete. And there you have it. So that's how to create an LDT table, and that's also how to troubleshoot it if it doesn't work. Okay, thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact Madam Machine if you have any questions. Cheers, bye.